Hello and welcome to another Battle Games in Middle Earth painting tutorial. It'd be criminal to make a series of videos based around the Easterlings without showing you how I paint up that iconic Easterling colour scheme. So strap in and get ready. Red. Ready. Yeah, anyway. To start, I actually undercoated it with Army Painter's Chaotic Red Spray Paint. I'm increasingly finding undercoating with black and then a base coat of spray is massively speeding up my painting, so I'd highly recommend it. And I follow that up with a decent layer of Retributor armour on all of the metal. Once you've done this, you can already see that glittering horde coming together. Next, we cruelly take away that shine by liberally washing it with Reichland Flesh Shade. Do this all over the red too. That flesh shade has got a lovely warm brown tone to it, which perfectly shades the red base coat too. Now, to red turn to the clothing, I use Mephiston Red and basically start painting all the upper folds of the cloth. I found these models are great for this style because there's so many creases to make the darker shadows really defined. You could dry brush this on too, but I've tended to move away from dry brushing generally, not really sure why either. Worth noting, I have left one of the tassels under his belt in the base coat layer, and that's because I'll be returning to it later on to help identify the difference between black dragons and normal warriors. It's also worth noting, I basically decided to do everything in the same colour, including those straps around the ankles and so on. Two reasons. One, it's because it's way easier than using different colours. And two, because I thought vaguely that it might be hard to find dyes of multiple colours in the arid eastern kingdoms. But also, mainly, because it's way easier this way. Straight on to the highlights now, because I see no reason not to. As long as you're careful, you can too. I just paint a line on the top of every fold essentially with Evil Sun Scarlet. And then I am done with the red. I am done. I am done. Anyway, I really like it though. It looks properly bright red. Now, with some Abaddon Black, I paint up the tassels and the central motif on the shield, and this is how I identify the Black Dragons, as I mentioned earlier. I didn't want them to look too different to normal warriors, because otherwise the phalanx wouldn't look uniform, but having black helps them stand out just enough to be obvious enough, to me at least. I also paint the pike in black if they're Black Dragons, which is really easy to spot at a tabletop for you and your opponent. Also with the black, I paint the boots, just to make a nice contrast between what will be a bright sandy base and the red pantaloons. Now with Rhinox Hide, I paint the leather belt and any other straps along with the back of the shield. It could be argued that this should have been done earlier to avoid ruining the red, but apparently I've abandoned reason for redness. Then back to the gold for the main highlight. The Eastlings are the glittering horde, so I go for lots of quite bold highlights on them, but you do have to be careful not to go so far you obscure that base coat of gold. So I mix a bit of water into Liberator Gold and carefully edge all of the edges of the shield and the helmet. And for the armour itself, I gently dry brush the very spikiest bits and use slight dots on any other dangly bits. <laughs> Next, with Bane Blade Brown, I very carefully add in some lines on the back of the shield to imitate that wood grain look. And also, I frame all of the leather straps. Essentially, what I'm doing is painting a line on each side of every strap. Just leave that Rhinox hide showing in the middle. It is fiddly, but it does yield an effective result, I think. Using Dawnstone, I do a similar trick on the edges of the black centre of the shield, and also the tassely bits. I think they look grey. <laughs> now we're getting to the nitty gritty. I start with a layer of Iron Breaker on the sword, and I do paint the handle in this too, but we'll add to that a little bit later on. Um, I also use this metal though for the very final highlight for the gold, and this is a nuanced process. Too much, and you make the gold look silver. Too little, and you've wasted your time essentially. The main thing I do is highlight the golden corners of the shield and some of the tips of the very sharpest edges of the armour on the arms and legs, but I do also add these strange two lines on the shields, it's kind of in a pattern around the centre, 
They're meant to be that light you get when a shiny surface reflects the light. And I think this effect looks good enough for tabletops, but the more you scrutinise it, the less it makes sense. So let's move on. The final touch is basically just to mutant down the brightness of the red and tie it all together a bit. I used a slightly old and drying out blood red paint for painting the main layer, not Evil Sun Scarlet as I've told you, and found it looked a little bit chalky once it dried, so using Caraberg Crimson Wash I just blended it all nicely together. It would probably be better to do this earlier on, but it worked nicely, so who cares, eh? The final touch is just to dot some Druki Violet Gloss Wash to the handle of the sword, and I actually only did this step on this exact model, because I just lost the willingness to do it on every single rank and filer, but I may well go back to them at some point. Either way, here is the finished article, the main fella plus his phalanx mates. So here you can see how I've differentiated pikes between silver and black for those black dragon upgrades, but still kept that unified colour scheme across the whole phalanx. And here, a couple of lovely shots of them in action at a recent tournament. Thanks very much for watching, and a special shout out to my patron supporters. You can win prizes, join a growing Facebook community, and get swag by signing up. Just head to patreon.com slash battlegamesinmiddleearth and join the gang. Or, if you just fancy supporting the channel, come and say hi, or buy me a beer at a tournament near you. Until next time, boo rum